fashion. One man that knows about turning fabric into a signature clothing line is Jay Ray. This is Art and Soul. Let's go. (laughs) Can I look around? Oh yes, please. Go ahead and look around. All right. You have some really nice pieces. I've seen your social media, but yeah, it's wow. I haven't seen uh, this one. Yeah, let me bring it out so you can see. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Is this red burgundy? No good with colors. This is um, this is wine. Wine. And then this is burgundy. Burgundy. Yeah. And wow. then we have red stones uh, sequenced on them. Wow. Yeah. I love the detail. Mm, thank this you. This is really nice. Yeah. Um, so I've noticed that you you do typically for men, men caftans. Yes. Um, dominantly we do men. We do just about 20% women. Mm. But mostly it's what we do for men and then we convert it to the ladies version. So like, let's say this for instance. Mm-hmm. If you want this in a ladies version, mm-hmm. we do it to suit your, your, okay. your, your taste. Yeah. Wow. Uh, All right. And then you have shoes, you have watches. Yeah. So we, we style as well. I mean, most of our clients, they like to come and dress up from here mm-hmm. or when they come. And then go to the event. To, yeah, they want to, to have a one-stop experience. Mm-hmm. So then we decide to stock some shoes, sandals. We have a few watches and uh, cufflinks too around. I like this. So yeah. what? So you, you style your clients? Yes, please. So what would typically go with this? For a woman, because this is a woman's shoe. Sure. So what type uh, of? So this this is more it's more a casual, mm-hmm. okay, like so more a breakdown. Maybe you can wear like a you can wear pants and a, a kaftan with it. Mm-hmm. You can also wear a kaftan dress, okay, short dress, something that makes you feel free. Okay. Yeah. Um, colors white, off white. Yes, yes. white, off white is okay. Mm-hmm. You can do like. Burgundy, mm-hmm. uh, you can okay. do Burgundy a deeper pink. pink. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because it have a lit- it has a little bit of red over there, so then yeah, yeah, yeah it complements it. I like these, and these are all locally made. Yeah, they are locally made, very, right here in Accra. Very, very, very important. Mm-hmm. Let me see. This stands out to me. I like this a lot. Yeah. It's almost similar to what you're wearing. Almost. Uh, Not really. What I'm wearing is called Armor of God. Armor okay. of God. Yeah, so you see it has like a layer on the front, it's an armor. Mm. Yeah, and then this uh, this is a sanitive, this is sanitive, oh, I think the dummy. Oh no, I thought that was cool. That it <laughs> <laughs> slides so just down. dropping like that. So, do you name all of your caftans? Yes, we, we usually work with collections, so all of them. We have armor of God, He's we resting. have... Uh, <laughs> Sanitive. Mm-hmm. We have recently we released uh, Castle Black. Castle Black. Yeah, and um, we have General. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. We have uh, J Ray t shirts. Mm-hmm. We have a whole lot of them. Wow. Lot of them. So these are all in collections. Yeah, so like all. Castle Black is one collection. Yes. And um, what was the other one? We have Armor of God. Armor of God, that's AOG one collection. For short, yeah. AOG for short, yeah. that's one collection. Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, and then this one, yes, I really, really like this one. Mm. So you have pens, you have cufflinks. This is really cute. So you mentioned something like a one-stop experience. Sure. Okay, and that's very important to your mm. brand, right? Sure. Creating the experience. It's not just about the clothes. No, it's not just about the clothes. You know, wow. everything that has to do 
I mean, uh, we are trying to create a service, not just a product. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, a service that really works. Yeah. Okay. We'll have a conversation about that in just a moment. What's this one called? I love this. So, this is part of the Castle Black uh, collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is, um, uh, this is G8. So, under the Castle Black, we have about, about, 15 designs okay yeah and then this is so this is the if g exam is the eighth design the eighth design so g1 all the way to 15 all the way to 15 yeah i'm learning <laughs> i get it i get yeah. it okay well mm. i would like a kaftan made i haven't had a female kaftan made before sure so i'm excited are we going mm. long short uh we are looking at something really sexy for you so you. i mean uh, you may even doubt it's a kaftan but it's a kaftan Okay. You love it. I'm excited. Yeah. So first things first, measurements. Sure, sure. So let's let's take the measurements. So I'm here with J. Ray, J. Ray Gatti. Yes. Yes. Okay. Fashion designer, fashion extraordinaire, stylist, all of the above. I want to find out how it all started for you. Mm. Yeah. So originally I started off as a, a t-shirt designer. Okay. So which I still do. Um, like I normally do a very small graffiti on t-shirts or maybe sometimes customize mm -hmm. people's names and all those things. So yeah, we um, uh, it was I think Ghana at fifty, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, and uh, I I developed a concept. I got a T-shirt and then I did a concept and I realized everyone liked it. As a matter of fact, whenever so I you bought, designed the Ghana at fifty. No. Oh, well, it was uh, that Ghana at fifty that year. Yeah, that, that year. Yeah. Okay, okay. So like I came up with a, a T-shirt concept. Mm -hmm. I mean something funky, something young, which had everyone going for. Yeah. So then I realized that, I mean, whenever I go out looking for a job, I don't get it. But when I try to do something with my hand, then people buy it. I was like, oh, okay. I mean, if people like what I did, mm -hmm. I did it for a few people, I realized they like it. Mm -hmm. So then I continued, I mean, I continued it. And I realized I could make a business out of it. So for years, I was doing t-shirts. And I think in 2008, we came out with a concept. It went viral, mm. so I knew that, oh, yeah, I have to do T-shirts. Mm. So, I mean, I have been doing T-shirts for a while until um, 2015. But what are the challenges? When I say challenges, materials, mm -hmm. costs, are there times where um, you're maybe not making much of a profit? Are there high seasons and low seasons in the market, mm -hmm. things of that nature? Uh, uh, fuel prices bothering your, you know, your mm -hmm. production, your productivity, all these challenges, because it looks glamorous, mm -hmm. and I'm sure your customers feel amazing sure. when they leave, but just tell us some of the struggles as a designer. Um, if you have I'll, any, or you don't have any. If you have any, then it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy for you. I, I have learned over the years, uh, in fact, every day is a struggle, but I, I think... I have built a tough skin over the time, so um, would I say they don't really bother me anymore? They do bother me, but I always look above it. I always look over it. And the most important thing is, uh, I, I believe strongly this is my passion, okay? Because this is something I'll do any day, like whether whether I am sick or I am well, whether I am not in the mood or whether, I don't know, like I don't know what really puts me off from designing. I, it's something that just comes. Whether, I mean, it's, it's really difficult, uh, especially at the stage where we are, okay? Because um, we are at a stage where things, a lot of things must align, you know, corporate wise, you know, to explode into a bigger organization all those things working with other people it's, it's not easy because normally uh, when you are like for instance okay i'm a fashion designer so let's say you know i have a lot of imaginations a lot of 
I have a lot of emotions run through me and trust me you will not always have a lot of the people you work with to be on the same page whenever there's a problem I think the next thing my mind jumps to is okay so what do we do about it how do we go about it yeah so what's the next way so normally when mistakes happen in the workshop uh, I convert them into new styles which a lot of customers may I mean they may even admire the mistake more than the original mm. so but yeah they don't know it's a mistake uh, no they don't know it's a mistake it's very clever yeah. very clever and yeah. um, speaking of your customers and your clients mm. so typically um who is your typical client and you have some some celebs under your belt uh, not literally but i mean uh, you have some <laughs> that you've designed yeah. for or, or they're your friends um, they are celebrities and your friends yes yeah, some are friends mm -hmm. some have become family so someone like uh, Joe Metal, mm -hmm. um, he's been like a big brother, I mean he's, he's been around for a while now, so he's more or less a brand ambassador. Wow. Okay, yeah, and then uh, Ajit Anand, mm -hmm. Ajit Anand, and uh, we have, uh, we work with our chairman for me, mm -hmm. yeah, he has also over the time become like a big brother. Mm -hmm. And um, we work with, um, oh, Sonny Badu. Do you think Ghana is making an impact on the fashion world go globally? Especially since we've had like an influx of foreigners and the diaspora coming through. And um, at first we we're used to, internationally you would see Kente a lot mm -hmm. in different places. Sure. But now celebrities from all over the world are coming and they're getting caftans mm -hmm. tailor made for them. And they're going out, they're wearing it on the red carpet and things of that nature. Do you think Ghana specifically is making an impact? Globally. So yeah, uh, we are making a strong impact uh, globally. But my, my only issue in Ghana is always about the the togetherness, the support of our own. You see the how organized we are, because uh, fine uh, the fashion industry exists in Ghana. Okay, but how strong is it? As compared okay. to Nigeria. As compared to Nigeria, because. I'll say this, it's controversial, I mean, and Nigerians, they know it and I'll mm -hmm. say it, mm -hmm. but uh, they, they usually will copy from us, mm -hmm. okay, and then make it bigger. Okay. Yeah, which I, I, don't, I don't blame them anyway, but um, it's, 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 sometimes it's heartbreaking, okay, because we will always come up with something, we will always start something, but then you will not even get your own people supporting so support, you. Yeah. yeah, because in Ghana everybody feels like they know, they know, they know. Okay, uh, and uh, one one thing that really uh, recently, I mean, you spoke about celebrities and I mean year of return, all those things. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Bad Boy Two or something, the movie was launched recently. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, I mean it was premiered, and um, uh, on Ti's page. I saw him wear, uh, <laughs> will I say, a fake J. Ray collection. Like someone takes our, our collection, one of our collections. One of our, uh, it's a similar design as this, it's called Armor of God. Mm -hmm. And then they make the fake version for T.I. Okay, to wear on red carpet. I actually tried to follow to see who did that. Because then, um, uh, I don't know how how we really I don't know, but uh, I mean the, for the rest I'll handle it back door. But what 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 I really am concerned about is you know everybody just picks up. We are not really organized. Well, let's say the whole of Africa or Ghana, mm -hmm. because then let's say when you go to the states, okay, uh, maybe you see a Gucci something from Gucci. Mm -hmm. You really want to go to the Gucci store and get an original one. Okay, so that, yeah, people will know you are wearing Gucci. You get it? Or maybe you see something Zara or mm -hmm. Christian Dior, Louis Vuitton, anything. But in Ghana, someone will be on your page, take a picture, okay, and then go and give it to another tailor to make it. And then, I mean, you don't know which processes we use in producing the item. Then it looks like what we have, but then it's fake. So, okay, so you think that's what could have happened? Or could designers have similar ideas um, and create similar pieces you see 
you, I, I look at, let me tell you how it works, okay? Yeah, uh, sure. Maybe you know, I'll just I no, mean, also learning. mention it. <laughs> yeah, but this is what happens, okay? I would, I would see what you are wearing, okay? And then I'll be like, oh, this is nice. Okay, then I would want to, what you are wearing must inspire me to go to the next level. Mm -hmm. To do something that is completely different. Okay, like it must push me to the next. Mm -hmm. You get it. I must not see what you are wearing and, and do copy. exact same. Okay, Sometimes you try to do the exact color, exact combination. Um, I would show you pictures of what I'm talking. I'll show you the original, and then I'll show you what Ti wore. Wow. And this is not just him. I mean, it's it happens. All over so the this place. is going on in our fashion industry right now. Exactly. So to me, I believe we have to get to the point where when you see something, oh, maybe uh, a branded a gentleman did this. Ah, let me take it to a branded. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Elikem Kumoji did this. Oh, let me send it to Kumoji. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, J. Ray did this. Let's bring it to J. Ray. Mm -hmm. You understand? So that we begin to wear original original we begin to treat our fashion designers as fashion brands like you so that i don't mind if my customer has a collection of uh, a brand tier chocolate uh, elikem uh, uh, let's say uh, who else like you know you have i i don't mind i mean variety variety is important right okay you cannot be one way okay so far as i mean i can choose to have just maybe uh, Zara collection or maybe let's say Amancio Ortega collection mm -hmm. I just that's all I want to wear we have customers like that all they want to wear is J Ray mm -hmm. yes that's nice that's very I mean pleasant but make sure it's original yes that's what you're saying exactly but okay. if you really want to do variety if you see chocolates design Give it to chocolate to do it for you. Not take it somewhere uh, don't else bring, to do. Don't say, oh, Jerry. Uh, this no, is no, chocolate, no, 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 and then you want. No, no, I believe that I don't have to do someone's design to succeed. Oh. Okay. So I mean, it's, I mean, I, I have to speak lengthily on this because it's really a border. No, no. Yeah. I, I think it's important we get yeah. to know the designers outside of your mm -hmm. clothes and outside of your designs. It's very, yeah. very important. And a lot of, you know, I speak to different artists and they talk about the same support system, sure. that we're lacking a support system here in Ghana. So it's important to have these conversations mm -hmm. um, and you create an experience, mm -hmm. which is very important for your brand. People feel good. Um, when they wear your clothes and that they should also feel proud to wear the sure. original mm -hmm. um, absolutely now I want to wear the original mm -hmm. I want to wear <laughs> should be ready Jay very soon. yeah I'm <laughs> excited I want to wear um, J Riggs I haven't had a woman's caftan um, but very quickly before I try on my piece um, very shortly um, when it comes to styling for your traditional engagement mm -hmm. for the fellas mm -hmm. are there any do's and don'ts do you not wear the same type of kaftan as your groomsmen mm -hmm. do you do you make it simple the weather is not conducive the mm -hmm. dust give us a couple of tips for the men on their traditional okay weddings. so for instance when we receive or when customers come to us wanting to make uh, items for engagements and their yeah, wedding ceremonies and all those things. I mean, for the celebrant or uh, whoever, the, the groom in this case, it's always important to be a standout, okay? Because yeah. it, is, it is your day. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go the extra, extra mile, depending on, I mean, your, your taste, how you really want to look, is very important and me for one is important to me because if you are a groom okay I I, I want I want you to to stand out uh, if you are getting married I don't think a guest should come well dressed or better dressed than you At all. I mean your appearance is really important and people try to do that yes I see that at weddings I feel like people try to outshine the bride or the groom exactly and that's just people terrible. Have intentions like that people have intentions like that and you see it's important you as a as a groom or as a bride try I mean don't be all over the place mm -hmm. but whatever you wear okay 
make sure that first of all is the original mm -hmm. and then secondly it has to be on point mm -hmm. okay like it has to be it ha you have to be a standout okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. stand that, out on you point. Have to be a, and then you don't have to also dress the same way as your groomsmen to right. me mm -hmm. okay because they are not the ones getting married exactly you understand the they time came will come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or it's come already <laughs> yeah some of them their time has come <laughs> they only came to support you that's it so but whichever ways you always need to be a standout okay yes because we must be able to make you out how about i mean for shaggy reasons let me borrow that way mm -hmm. your wife uh mistakenly i mean can you it, imagine yes because yeah. you're all wearing the same thing oh, no, 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 no. we can't have that no no no, no. <laughs> yes so I it's always important to be very clear and then yeah so for uh and then yeah i mean so stand out stand don't out. have too much going on but make sure that you're um what's the word unique you are unique and defined and defined that you way you also make sure you try your best to yeah, let mm. people make you out from a distance. And let J Ray do your kaftan yeah. for your traditional. Ready? I said like, they should let you do the, oh, their yes. kaftan for let the traditional. Let us do your kaftan. Okay, fantastic. Well, I'm ready for mine, guys. I'm ready for my kaftan. <laughs> I'm excited. It's my first time, so I'm excited. And I know it's going to be super, super nice, mm. super cute. So you guys don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. So, art and so. Welcome back to Art and Soul. Today, Jere Gatte did something really nice for our, our host. Today, she's our model. You should check her out. Uh, Melissa, join us here. Okay, wow. So this is this is a kaftan dress. You know, this is like something really smart and and, and casual. Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's armor of gold in the ladies' version. Yeah, so there's, there you have it. I love it. Yeah. No, I really you. love it. Let's Thank very quickly you. talk about the details because yeah. I wasn't I wasn't expecting like the dimensions. Sure. So let's quickly talk about the details. We have the mm. stones here. We have the pocket. So tell me what's going on here. Yeah. Um, so I mean, for the long layer, you see, it's basically aesthetics. Mm -hmm. uh, the stones, you know, is to is to beautify the whole idea. You know, we considered your your color. And then we thought it's that okay this could really pop out so then we did something um like this for you so, so red suits me yeah you look good in red and then the denim yes yay and i see the detail here mm, that's our that's our trademark trademark yes uh, i love it and then i have a pocket yeah Yep, I have a pocket mm. just in case you want to keep J Ray's your number <laughs> on speed <laughs> dial. Your phone, yeah. You know, maybe your money. You don't want, you don't feel like carrying a bag, you know. You just see. you just want to dash out and come back. You can just yeah. Exactly, and it goes with yeah. sneakers too. Goes with sneakers. Goes with heels. Mm. Goes with slippers. Goes with everything. So far as you match it well. Match it yeah. well. That's key. That's important. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love this. So where can I wear this to? Um, um, it's this is, is a breakdown. Okay, it's uh, it's you can wear it. I mean, to not to like. Even if it was a bit longer, you could wear it to church. Mm -hmm. But yeah, apart from that, longer. yeah, maybe a Saturday outing. Okay. Maybe a party. Night you know. day. Uh, you no, know, you can wear it at any time. At any time. This could be during the day, into the night, mm -hmm. to the beach, you know. So the beach. Yeah. It's too nice for the beach. I mean, uh, the beach is nice, but this is very nice. Yeah. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And thank you for having the conversation with us. Thank you for You're letting welcome. us come into your your shop, into your store, and um, very quickly, of course, we need to know how to contact you. So social media. So we are on Instagram, Jere Fashion. Uh, we are on uh, Facebook, Jere Gatte. Um, we are on Twitter, Jere Fashion. And then you can contact us. Oh, please, this is our website, jeregatte.com. Uh, I repeat again, jeregatte.com. You can buy online. You can go to our gallery. You can call us 0553-716061. You can also call us 0243-720-533. So there you have it. Okay. And then very quickly, do you do runway fashion shows? 
Oh yeah. We do. We do a lot of runways. Okay. Last year we did Accra, Accra Fashion Week. We did Ghana Men's Fashion Week. We did um, uh, we did oh Spesh. We did Spesh. We did Glitz Africa. Mm -hmm. And then on the thirtieth we did um, uh, Year of Return mm -hmm. uh, Fashion Connect mm -hmm. Africa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, a lot actually. Yeah. That's a lot. But we intend to do more shows this year. Mm -hmm. This year we intend to uh, enter the Nigerian market and we want to show them something different. Yes. We want to show them that the thing is from Ghana. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. We are going to, you know, we are actually viral in London. Okay. In the US. Mm -hmm. Okay, in Canada. So we intend to visit all this, especially for London, probably next month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, we are we are planning on, on on doing something, yeah. But we'll be doing Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. We we'll do South Africa, uh, oh, Kenya, yeah. Zambia, yeah. Wow. So so many good things in store. I wish you yeah. all the best. Just don't let any. Just don't make the same dress for anybody. <laughs> no, as if if you can afford exclusivity. Uh -huh. See, it's important. Uh, we talked about but that. But so far, as someone comes and says, "Oh, I love Mel Melissa's. Oh, oh, we'll make it. Trust make me. Make your own. <laughs> Let him make your. Okay, no, no problem, no problem. Um, so thank you so much. A big shout out to you guys, everybody you. at J Ray Garte that is really, really making um this engine run. Thank you so much for my beautiful kaftan dress, my first one actually, mm. and then a huge, huge thank you actually to Pencraft for the sneakers. You guys check them out on Instagram, but you can check out all of his works on his social media pages right here for you guys. You guys, this has been Art and Soul, and I think I make a good model, right? Oh, sure. Are you sure? We are, we are thinking of dra drafting you, yeah. Draft <laughs> I think there's a height yeah. requirement. <laughs> but you guys, this has been another episode of Arts and Soul. My name is Melissa Awad. I will see you next time. Soul, art and soul. So oh.